Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think chefs have a very big responsibility, you know? I think more than being a rock star, uh, they have the responsibility of be storytellers, you know? Mm -hmm. They are the connection point between the farm and the fork, you know? They are the connection point between the wine yard mm -hmm. and, the, and the glass, you know? They are the connection point and they are, they are the, the ones who take this and, and give in so many diverse languages. You know? But the important thing is to tell the stories of the real rock star that is the producer, that is the fisherman, that is the winemaker, that is the bread maker. That is people that are the tradition, la nonna, yeah, yeah. La, uh, the, the, the parents, you know. The project about? Why is Timus in this? Why are we traveling here? Why Jose? You might be asking yourself a lot of questions. We are asking ourselves a lot of questions. This project is not about the future of food. This project is about the present and the past of food and how they can influence the way we look at the future. We're trying to make a statement. We want to use the power of neuroscience combined with other disciplines in looking into how do you design the future of food experiences to be taking into account humanity. And humanity, by definition, is across time. Humanity is how people are eating today, what is in their fridge, what is on their table, how they cook it, how they consume it. The thing is, you cannot look at the future of what we want to do to make food sustainable for all humanity without really taking into account what's happening to you now, what's happening to you today, and what happened to you yesterday. This is the reason why we're in Piemonte with Jose, with the crew, with the team from Timus. We're going out there and we're trying to look back in the past. And to me, the past is out there in every little corner of this country. And Piemonte is a symbol of taking a journey. It's like a time machine. You take a journey in the past of proteins. And so this is why we're here. This is what we did. With Oze, we went out and we searched for the past of proteins in, in cultural history. My friend, Ooh. welcome to Italy. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I want to change the world. I want to face the system. I want to think different, I want to question. How many people wake up every morning thinking this? I want to change the world. We are here reunited with people that have the same dream. Winemakers, experts in fermentation, farmers, chefs, learning from their dreams, understanding their realities with the idea of think a product for them, with the idea of changing their lives, with the idea of try improve their lives. How many of that people that wake up every morning with the idea of saving the world are giving the first step to do it? How many people stop wasting food? How many people is taking care of the environment? How many people is making wise choices on the supermarket? Can you take your son to the supermarket and say, go on, choose whatever you want, eat whatever you want. We want to face product design from different angles, understanding human and humanity, understanding the perception of quality of life, to deliver on the table more than a product, 
we deliver tradition, we deliver research, we deliver neuroscience. We decided to give the first step on facing food design. We decided to go for that dream. I know, it's fantastic. I can just imagine in the summer, you know. Oh, grazie. La torta di nocciole, pura, soltanto farina di nocciole. Le wow. nostre nocciole tostate, mm. ridotte a farina wow. e la nocciola caramellata. Grazie. Grazie, grazie a voi. Grazie. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, end of the meal. Oh, thank you. Mm. And the chef is here too, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet way to end the meal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you think of this first step in the journey, you know? First meal together, first discussion about this. They always say that a thousand miles journey always start with the first step, you know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so this is a Chinese um, quote. Yeah. What I want to say is that it's the most important one, you know? The I think so too. They want to decide to do the first step together, you know, and... No, I know, and that's why, that's why you know, I'm excited because I think... The, the exciting part for me is today we spent this wonderful time together and yeah. the journey is beginning, but... The exciting part about it is not knowing where we're going to be ending up. And, you know, who knows? Because the important is the journey. Exactly. Not, so. the, not the destiny, the journey. I think we're gonna have fun, <laughs> for sure. Food, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> At least in different countries, food for sure we're gonna have.